Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And this is It's Personal 2.0. Before we do this, I'd like you to like and subscribe, or after you do it, if you think that was good, I like that, and I want to subscribe to it. Do the little bell icon, acorn, don't do the acorn, do the bell icon, so you get notifications, and after this, go and check out onlinemagic.co. If you like this review show and you like my stuff, you will love that. Over 600 videos, uh, over 700 videos, I keep saying that, then I probably 800 now. Uh, live sessions uploaded each week, and loads and loads of tutorials. Have a look at that. Um, so I was really pleased with this. Michael O'Brien sent me his stuff from uh, his company, Deuce Gala. I think uh, that's his company and probably other people as well. But I haven't gone into that because I'm terrible at researching things. Because I've been spending so much time on this. Not that little bag. This. <laughs> you get it in a bag, which is a nice thing. Sorry, there are so many of these phone things. It's Michael O'Brien and Buck Bowen. I couldn't bear it to not um uh, to not mention that so uh a little bit of uh history it's not history that's over it a bit but i've always been fascinated with this ever since i saw kind of uh videos of people doing the goshman routine shooter gower doing his neo press frame um jim cellini i know there's a move uh jim cellini move on this but I, i've always loved it and for some reason i never really got around to learning it and i know people might think our oh, purse frame is a bit silly I, again i remember seeing it the real magical this idea of having stuff come out in a, of it, an invisible purse easy for me to say ridiculously i've completely forgot to mention the whole premise of this uh, dvd oh steve stop showing your age dvd it's not it's a down you don't get a dvd with it <laughs> you get a download not just the fact that it's a purse frame uh, thing, but the point of this was that Michael wanted to put together something that uses the purse frame, not in the way that a lot of uh, routines use it, where you just use it to get the thing out and then maybe put them back at the end, or sometimes not. Um, and I love the Goshman stuff, but that was very much, things just came out of it, and that's not a problem. It was There was a lot more going on, but this actually uses it in a way that it's kind of used throughout the whole routine. Uh, what I also forgot to mention, <laughs> this is rubbish, isn't it, uh, is that I uh, recorded a short, you might have seen it, there's a short on here with my routine that I talk about in this, where I um, spent a day sort of coming up with something that I felt kind of had my little stamp on it. And it's, you know, it's using existing moves, but I wanted to create something um, of my own using clearly other people's ideas. So that's, have a look at the short of that as well. Uh, I like the fact that it's, it it can be played almost dead serious. It's like, oh yeah, I've got this, um, I've got this new purse. It's quite nice, but it's uh, something to keep your money. You know, just as a sort of thing like that, or you can make it sort of a ridiculous thing. But I think it genuinely is quite magical. I, I, you know, it always reminds me of things like the Mary Poppins thing, the endless bag, and all that. So the coin stuff I really like. This is sponge balls. Now I'm a big fan of sponge balls as well. I know some people don't like them and think they're not very sophisticated, but again. Uh, over years of doing them, I actually think they've got a lovely aesthetic to them and very beautiful. So with this, you get the purse frame and you get three sponge balls. Uh, they're, they're kind of one inch ones. I don't think they are. I think they're probably one and a half inch or something. So you might want larger ones. So they're, they're great for practice, but for performance, you, 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 well, you and other size that you like. I do suggest learning a sponge ball routine before going straight into the purse frame stuff, just so you can sort of, you already have a lot of the skill. So I, and the Perth frame is lovely, by the way, it's a bit bigger than a lot of them. So there's a Jim Cellini move where you put your whole, you know, you can put your fingers in, but the whole hand goes in there. So, and it's substantial, it looks nice. It's not a kind of, it's not that kind of blingy sort of silver. It's a kind of matte sort of brass finish, which I really, really like as well. And it feels substantial. A lot of these I bought kind of creak when you open them and you know they're not going to last very long. This does feel like it's good quality. Haven't had it for a long time, but I kind of think that's probably the point. The download is great. It doesn't go on forever. It's half an hour, which is plenty enough to teach you the fundamentals and the basics of this. So the Jim Cellini moves in there. Uh, Michael's routine that he does is in there. And there's a lovely kind of dual reality moment in there, which I really, really like, which I'm going to do where it makes it appear that it disappears from a spectator's hand and goes into the uh, other spectator's hand. So loads of good stuff. Great routine. 
And what you'll find is, and this isn't always the case, just playing with that and learning everything on that, like the endless production of the ball with the shuttle pass, he goes into all the moves uh, in detail with over the shoulders. So you're going to get everything, which is really, really good if you've not done much of this work. So like I said, learn the basics first, but actually there's enough here to learn, um, even if you haven't done sponge balls before. I'm uh, kind of contradicting myself a little bit. But uh, the point is, that I was going to make is that when you learn this very quickly, you will probably, when you start playing with it, start coming up with your your own ways of doing it. And that doesn't always happen with me at all. I really, really struggle. Yesterday, magic so often, and practicing anything so often does this for me. I wasn't having a great day. The morning was a complete mess. Um, and I, you know, loads of stuff happened and it was just a, you know, hours on hold thing that, you know, very, very first world problems, but wasn't in a great state of mind, really frustrated, came in here, got this out and thought, right, by the end of the day, I'm going to have my own routine with this. It's been a long time since I've done that. And I'm not saying they're my own moves, but I played with it, put it on social media. It's not the best routine in the world, but I was really pleased with it. And it, and it, I really felt that creativity come from just learning those basics from, uh, from Michael. So that is a real recommendation from me. Not only does it teach you a routine, it teaches you the moves clearly. The teaching's really, really good. It's all studio based and the, uh, with a couple of uh, volunteer spectators uh, just to show you the kind of mechanics of it and walk you through it. Uh, and it inspired creativity with me. I think I love this stuff. And I think doing this with sponge balls or a coin, or a coin you'll be able to transfer uh, the two very easily. Is, is a great addition to a routine. And I'm gonna, I showed this to a few people on video and they were like, That's, I really love that premise. Obviously they weren't magicians, so they didn't know it was a classic premise, but they loved the idea of, you know, nobody kind of went, oh, that's a bit cheesy. It's a silly purse frame. Um, they were all like, I love that. It's kind of, it's got a quirkiness and a joy to it, I think, which I really enjoy. So it's highly recommended. I've got some more stuff from Deuce Gala. I hope that's how you say it. I've got an, imp I've got an idea that it might not be. Um, but there's some really nice stuff. I will be doing more of it, but I wanted to do that one because I was so delighted when it arrived because it's like I can I'm finally have a good, you know, I've, not that I should need one, but I've got a good excuse uh, to learn this. And I've had lots and lots of fun and it's been a good therapy for me to spend a whole day on that routine <laughs> because I'll tell you what, uh, it might seem simple, but for my head yesterday, it was, uh, it was a tough slug. So I'm really, really chuffed with it now. Thank you, Michael, for sending that to me. Um, do use the links below. If you want to purchase, again, they're not affiliate links. Any questions, put them below because we'll answer them in tomorrow's comments on comments show, the Thursday night uh, live shows that are every Thursday when I can make them. Another reason to hit the notifications icon uh, at five o'clock UK time and we just have a good chat and I talk bobbins and you ask me questions and I'll answer anything and there will be giveaways as well. So do check that out. And uh, off after this, off you go to, uh, I said off twice, to check out onlinemagic.co, like and subscribe. Take care. See you later.